Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on Fragile X Syndrome. Fragile X Syndrome is the most frequent form of inherited intellectual disability and the prevalence is between 1 in 4,000 and 1 in 7,000 in males. So males are more common whereas in females it is approximately two-thirds of the males. For pathogenesis of Fragile X Syndrome, it is an X-linked disorder it is caused by a loss of function mutation in the Fragile X messenger ribonucleoprotein 1, FMR1 gene, and this will lead to decrease or absent Fragile X messenger ribonucleoprotein, FMRP. So this picture shows a normal X chromosome and a Fragile X chromosome. You can see there is the Fragile site. These are the clinical features of Fragile X syndrome, and they vary depending upon the mutation state. It can be full mutation versus pre-mutation. It also depends on the gender and tissue variation. So the classic features for males with full mutation, physical features include a long and narrow face with prominent forehead and chin, where you can see in this picture here, with large ears and also testicular enlargement. But these features are typically not obvious until adolescent or adulthood. Whereas the physical features in younger males may include macrocephaly, strabismus, mid-face hypoplasia, arch palate, mitral valve prolapse, hyperextensible joints, hypotonia, soft skin, and flexible flat feet. So those are the physical features. Whereas intellectual disability is also commonly seen and it is usually in the moderate range. And it is noted that expressive language is more affected than receptive language. Behavioral features may include features of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, which includes hyperactivity and inattention noted in the child. Can also include autism spectrum disorder, where they might have stereotypic movements such as hand flapping or hand biting, hyperarousal, social impairment, or anxiety. So to investigate for this Fragile X Syndrome, we can do the FMR1 DNA analysis. It can be done through amniocentesis or chorionic villus sampling. So amniocentesis is by taking a sample of the amniotic fluid for testing, whereas chorionic villus sampling take a sample of the cells from the placenta for testing during pregnancy. There are also some other possible differential diagnosis that we should consider when we are suspecting for Fragile X Syndrome in children who have intellectual disability, such as Fragile XE Syndrome, Kleinfelter Syndrome, which is XXY, Cerebral Gigantism, and also Prader-Willi Syndrome. For management of Fragile X Syndrome, it is individualized according to the child's cognitive and behavioral symptoms. And some of the management include genetic counseling, where the family of the child with Fragile X Syndrome should be referred to a geneticist or genetic counsellor where they will give a detailed discussion on the inheritance pattern of the FMR1 mutation and also offer genetic testing for other family members. Multidisciplinary assessment for the, for the child with Fragile X Syndrome for planning of education, assessment of their behavioural and emotional needs, and also associated medical problems such as gastroesophageal reflux, joint laxicity, strabismus, recurrent otitis media, scoliosis, or others, which will include a few disciplines, a few departments. Development and education, where they usually have special educational needs, and we can refer them for early developmental stimulation or early intervention programs. Neuropsychiatric management, may be effective in promoting coping skills and also reducing problematic behaviours, such as stereotypic behaviours or self-injury. Health supervision of children with Fragile X Syndrome will include surveillance for a number of medical problems, such as flat feet, hyperextensible joints, gastroesophageal reflux, mitral valve prolapse, and others. So that's all for this video. Thank you.